Hello, I'm Dr. Carlos Gaitan, research scientist at the South Central Climate Science Center of the University of Oklahoma. I work in Princeton, New Jersey at the Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory of the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration. In this short video, I will introduce the concept of statistical downscaling. As decision makers across the globe have started to struggle with climate change, they have a need to quantitatively assess potential impacts. One major stumbling block in these pursuits in the transition of information provided by global climate models or GCMs to local impacts. The process of downscaling is typically used to bridge this gap. Statistical downscaling techniques are divided in three general categories, regression models, weather generators, and weather typing or classification schemes. Broadly speaking, statistical downscaling techniques build relationships between gridded observational-based time series or from in-situ observations directly and the large-scale predictors or coarse resolution output from numerical models like the GCMs. Regression techniques represent linear or nonlinear relationships between the local-scale variables, often called targets, and the large-scale predictors. As an example, let's assume that we want to downscale 2 meter air temperature over northern Oklahoma using simple linear regression. The first step is to obtain sufficient historical observations from a weather station or a gridded observational product for the Norman area. Then, we will extract physically relevant predictors from historical reanalysis products that are synced in time with our observations. We then can fit a regression equation between our target and the predictor or predictors. After obtaining the best fit equation, we can calculate the error and correlation between the downscale time series and the target, giving us an understanding of how well this equation represents the historical record. Finally, we use this equation and similar set of predictors obtained from the GCM to obtain the historical conditions and future projections downscale to Norman, Oklahoma. As with other downscaling techniques, it is important for us to obtain a set of predictors that adequately represent the relationship between the large-scale atmosphere and the local-scale variable of interest. This choice is particularly important near mountain and coastal regions, where there can be large variations in model performance. Still, regression techniques have been popular because they are easy to implement. The second technique, a weather generator, replicates the statistical attributes of a local climate variable, such as its mean and standard deviation. It does not replicate the observed sequences of events. A simple weather generator can relate the distribution of a variable from the global climate model output to the distribution of the local scale variable of interest. For example, quantile mapping techniques may link or map the observations and the historical GCM output in intervals with equal probabilities or quantiles. These mapped relationships, then, are used to generate downscale projections using the GCM output for future times. The last technique weather typing or classification, use analogs or past atmospheric patterns. In this case, we select a date or dates in the historical period when the large-scale conditions most closely resemble the day for which the projection is made. Imagine that you have a collection of weather maps for the South Central United States from many different years. Some weather maps can be classified as dry days, some as wet days, and some as higher than normal temperatures or lower than normal temperatures. Now, let's retrieve the observations from the weather station at Norma that we used in the previous example. We can now link each individual weather map to a corresponding observations from our weather station. Once we determine this statistical link, we compare every single historical map with a future map obtained from the GCM future projections to find the best match. After we select the historical map that most closely resembles the future map, we assign the corresponding value from the weather station data as our downscale projection for that time period. We repeat the process until all the future maps are classified and we generate a full time series of downscale data. This technique is useful if our future maps look like our historical maps, but if the climate changes too much and the future maps are different than the historical ones, then this technique might not be as useful. Overall, it is important to keep in mind that all statistical downscaling methods rely on several assumptions. 
The main assumption is that the relationships between predictors and targets do not change over time. This assumption is typically called stationarity. Because we know that our climate is changing, the stationarity assumption limits the effectiveness of a statistical downscaling. We also assume that the predictors and the target are linked physically by the climate system, that the predictors from the GCM carry the climate change signal, and that the numerical models correctly simulate the predictors used for downscaling. In practice, these assumptions should be tested during the historical period by comparing the GCM output with different reanalysis products and with local observations. Although no statistically downscaled dataset is perfect, decision makers can use a group of these datasets to examine the range of possible climates that they might face in the future.